Hey guys, what's going on? So I previously made a tutorial video and I told you guys if you liked it, I would do more. And I got over 50 likes on that video, so I can't take you guys enough. And yeah, here it is. So last time I did Android, so obviously this time I'm going to do iOS. And if you don't know, a couple nights back, iOS 10 was announced. And by any chance you don't like it, such as iOS emoji changes or bugs, or in general you just don't like the layout, well this video is going to be for you. I'm going to be showing you how to change back to iOS 9 from the current iOS 10 version you're on. Any version you're on, this method is going to work for you. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So guys, this method will work with any laptop that you have, Windows or Mac, doesn't matter. So the first thing you wanna do is plug your phone into your computer and open up iTunes, obviously. Then take a backup just in case your files or contacts or pictures get removed. You can easily get them back. And then head over to idownloadblog.com. All the links will be in the description below. And then what you want to do is choose your iOS and the phone you have. So if you want to be on iOS 9.5 and have an iPhone 6, that's what I have. So you're going to choose that. After that, just let it download. And yeah, so after the download is complete, your phone should still be connected to iTunes. And then go over to where it says check updates. Just don't click it yet. But what you have to do is press Swift and click update at the same time and what this will let you do is download any type of ios version that you want so hunt for the ios version that you downloaded i downloaded 9.5 so i'm going to search that and then just click open so then itunes will think it's updating your phone but in reality it's actually downgrading it back to ios 9 and this process can take anywhere from about five minutes all the way to 20 minutes so just let it do its thing after that, just finish up with the setup process, and then once you're back into iOS 9, go ahead and restore the backup so you get all your files that you previously backed up on iOS 10. And yeah, it's that simple. So yeah guys, that was it. It was extremely simple, and now you're back in iOS 9, so you don't have to get bothered with iOS 10. You can maybe download the next version of iOS 10 if you like it. Just be sure to go on YouTube and check out the reviews of iOS 10 and you like it or not, and then download it, so you don't have to do this every single time. And yeah guys, that was basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more similar content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.